Good morning everyone, Nick from Eat Smoke Fire here for week number 942 or whatever it is, feels like that some days. Um, so we're a year in at least now, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, I tempted you all last night with a couple of photos of some beautiful prawns and some lovely king scallops and that's not what we're cooking today. Unlucky, it was a lovely tea, uh, lovely dinner, um, but that's not what we're doing. We're gonna sort of wing it a bit today. There's a couple of cooks, three cooks as usual, but a couple of cooks I've never tried. Uh, one, I'm making it up on the fly. I've not even read a recipe on it, but the other, but we one dish we have cooked and we love. Anyway, we need to get on it um, because there's quite a lot to do. So, first of all, Andy's back on camera. Hooray! <laughs> Uh, so we've got Andrea on camera, we've got Helena and her mum, mama, uh, on the, sitting at the island, um, which we found out, great thing about, you can see them, look, they've got their hands on it. Yeah. One, it soaks up the sun, and two, the egg heats it up so they're heat warming their hands, so it's beautiful. And Helena's obviously on the live feed, and we'll be typing the questions. So I will pass you back to Andy. Right. Uh, three cooks. We are going to do a Spanish uh, squid dish, squid stuffed with uh, rice, uh, some chorizo, uh, some onions and a few other things. Beautiful. We had it one night about two weeks ago. Sat out here in front of the fire and loved it. So we're going to do that. Really good dish. Uh, second dish, we are going to do some... Did I hold up three fingers and go second dish? No, sorry. I just <laughs> noticed... Um... Someone saying hello to mum. Oh. So. <laughs> Brilliant. Jason from... Oh, uh, who, who's invited me to go and play around the golf at the Gogs in a couple of weeks' time. Brilliant, love it. Anyway, so Jason popped over the other day to pick up some charcoal and we fed him. Um, so uh, anyway, back to second dish. We are going to do a cured and then plank smoked, and I might finish it off in a pan, mackerel. Uh, so a little bit different. This is I'm making this one up on the fly. I've looked at some various different ways of cooking it and I think this is going to work, but we'll find out. So obviously I've not written it out. Third dish, uh, we're doing two sort of things. You asked for trout last week, so we're going to do lemon and dill stuffed trout cooked two different ways, one directly on the grid, one in a foil pan, if that makes sense. And we're going to serve it with a dish from Mark, um, Mark at Smoke Fine Food. I don't know if Mark's on. Not yet not on but um he, one of his dishes let's go and have a look at it because it's already cooking um, but we love this um it is a fennel and tomato roast fennel and tomato oh, oh it smells Smell delicious that, yeah, it yeah. goes it, that, that if you don't like the aniseed fennel taste i don't andy doesn't mm. it doesn't taste like that when you cooked it it no. tastes brilliant anyway we're going to go here andy okay right so i'm going to do a very quick cure uh, and the point of this is just to draw some of the moisture out of the um, mackerel uh, and I'll show you what I've done. So in here, it's all blown around over there, I've got um, half sugar, half salt. So that's just a basic cure. So it's very much like um, uh, smoked salmon when we do it. So I'm just going to put a layer of that in the bottom here. And then I'm, what I've done with these, and I'll show you how I've filleted them, I've cut them the fillets into half. And we're just going to layer them in here, simply layer them in and we're going to cure them very quickly, about 20 minutes max. So I will put some sugar over the top of those, sugar and salt, and that will just draw out some of the moisture, firm up the flesh a bit, and then we're going to smoke. I'm going to leave a bit in there because I'll show you what to do with the other. Um, so if you've been to your fishmonger, this was from the Cambridge uh, fish market, or Cambridge market, the fish stall, um, you can get fillets of mackerel. Um, you might have some bones on this bit, so I just tend to get in there with a knife just under the bones and cut that section off. And then right the way down the middle here, you're going to have pin bones. So what you can do is just get in there, if I do it this way, like a they V. My shadow, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Like a V, so we'll cut that and then a V the other side and just take the middle portion out and you end up, if you've actually cut through it, with two, that bit might seem a little bit wasteful. You can get close as the bones and I've probably done, or you could ask your fishmonger to do this, but you end up with these two mini fillets with no bones in or anything like that. 
and they can go into the cure. So I'll then put more cure over the top and it's a very quick cure. So that's that dish, dead easy. Right, wash my hands because they're a bit fishy. Uh, so who have we got on Helena? Shout loud because I'll go over to you. Okay. We've got blaze on, we've yep. got let's cue on, we've got some of our Matt, Matt and Peter. Yeah, uh, we have got uh, Neville on, we have got Jason, we have got Barbecue Medic, we have got Wendy Turner, Turner. we've got Steve from Piston, DIY Eats, uh, Darren Churchill, I think Kerry's on as well, Oris and Sons, Cab Brighton. Oh, Cab Brighton is Nick, um, and I will talk to you this week, Nick. Nick is somebody I used to work with at Atos, uh, and he runs Cab Brighton. Have a look. It's all these amazing looking Thai dishes. Um, incredible. Um, um, we, we keep failing to catch up. It's rubbish. Harold's on, uh, Ben Slater, Skinny Boy Barbecue. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're up to just over. We've got, we've got a lot of people on today. Brilliant. Right, dish number two. We need to get going. So in this egg, a little bit warm, 200 degrees. I've got a cast iron pan. I'm just going to put three or four tablespoons olive oil, two or three tablespoons. And I've got lots of chopped up chorizo. So I'm going to go in with that. Um, I've got a bit of onion next to it. If that goes in, it doesn't really matter. But what we want to do is just start to crisp up, cook off and crisp up this chorizo. Because we're going to stuff this into our squid. So, having washed my hands, let me show you the squid. Look at this. Morley Stoves is just joined. Morning, the guys at Morley Stoves who um, we got our lovely, uh, lovely RB73 from. If you want one of those, talk to the guys at Morley, talk to Nicola, mention my name, um, and she'll sort you out. So, yeah, everyone's really loving those at the moment, those stoves. Right. I have squid. Now, um, I didn't have time to show you how to prep it, but we've got the hoods. So all we've done is taken this like a, a quill almost. It's like a little, looks like plastic. Cone. Cone. Don't know, but it sits in there. You've got to pull that out and any insides. You just pull the tentacles off the bottom. Um, the tentacles will come out attached to the eyes. So they sit like that. And if you cut just below the eyes, and in the middle here, you'll have the beak, which is just, it's like a, a hard bit and just pull it out, throw it away. So you end up with tentacles and the hoods. Now we're going to stuff the hoods in a bit, but the tentacles we're going to use in this dish in a minute. So all I'm going to do with these while that fries off is just chop them up finely. And everything's shaking over here. So we're going to use those in the sauce. Lovely. Put them back on this plate. In fact, I'll use this bowl. Get them in there and they're going to go into our sauce that we're going to stuff. So let's bring those over here. I'm going to give my hands another quick wash handy. Mm -hmm. And then we'll stir, stir this up. Now this, we love this dish. So can you see the chorizo now, lovely and golden, started to crisp up, perfect. So now we want to go in with our onions. Sorry, I, I do it all the wrong way for the camera, don't I? Sorry about that, somebody called me and it is on Do Not Disturb, which is weird. <laughs> don't call me while we're on live. Um, right, did that freeze for a bit? Oh, staff over there don't even know. Right, so we're going to start to soften those off and then we've got some garlic that I'm going to put in in a minute. So I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes. Right, have we got any questions? And by the way, this egg is direct at 180 degrees, roughly 180, 200 degrees. The egg over there is indirect. So we've got the plate setter in, the convector in there. Uh, we've got that cast iron dish in there. That is also, uh, should be at 160. I'm going a little bit faster because I started a little bit late. But I'm sure Mark will appreciate that if he's on. Might not be on today. Um, so you didn't say he was on, did you? I didn't know. I didn't no. 
um, but have a look at Mark at Smoke. Mark um, is smoked fine food um, and it's his recipe. So we're just going to start to soften up those onions. Stunning colour. Another minute or two. So, any questions, Helen? Uh, no. So while we're not going to get much time at the end, so I'll do the update on stock bit in the middle while we're waiting for that. So, big green egg. Um, lots of things are now out of stock so if you want a large big green egg you can have it in an integrated nest and handler uh, an acacia table and that's it um, the premium mahogany is out of stock the um, expansion uh, the nest is out of stock the expansion for the nests are out of stock for who knows how long i'm not we haven't even got a date on those uh, unfortunately so if you want uh, a, a unit with a cupboard I can recommend the blaze no how cheap um, uh, what else is is there uh, I think those are the key elements that are out of stock at the moment some of the covers uh, but we're getting into the weather where it doesn't really matter anyway right next a little bit of garlic I've got far too much there I've got four I probably only need half of that so we'll put half the garlic in Get that softened up. Nick, got a yep. Uh, David how do I clean the grease from the inside of the egg? How do you clean? David Steele asked, how do I clean the grease from the inside of the egg? Um, heat it up, get your egg to about 300 degrees. It will start to burn it off. Just let it sit there, 300, 350. Let it sit there for an hour or so. You'll get a lot of smoke, but all that grease will go. Uh, if you've got grease stuck on your um, uh, uh, regulator take the little um, rubber silicon bit off and then you can uh, either wipe down the bottom or you can put it inside if it's stuck on they should be stuck on um, just get it your egg hot and then just wipe underneath um, but yeah just get it hot and it will burn all the burn off all the um, grease right so that looks good to me oh, it's not good. we're gonna put in I've got some basmati rice so about 100 grams of basmati rice. So we're gonna get that in there. And it's good, one, to start to crack the rice. Um, you crack the shell if you fry it a little bit. Uh, but also get some of that color onto it. And now, glass of wine for the chef. Oh no, it's for the dish. Um, so it's just uh, 100 ml of wine. We'll get that in. And what we want to do is just bubble that off. Smells good, Andy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the wine. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So, not a lot else to go in. We've got some stock. So, chicken stock, 200 millilitres, and uh, three tomatoes. I've actually gone with four because I loved it. So I'll get the tomatoes in there. Right, while that's frying, I'm gonna put the chopped up squid. Tentacles, that'll go into the sauce. We love this dish. The only downside to this is we're gonna cook it, cook the rice, and it's really hot when you want to stuff it. So, oh, it's hard to get, you know, without burning your hands. Right, I'm going to put the stock in. So all that wine had just boiled off. I need to get the lid shut because it's getting hotter and hotter. Go in with the tomatoes. I'll chop them up a bit in a minute. Just give it a stir so it's all in there. There we go, and we'll get that lid shut. Okay. Perfect. Oh, corn, absolutely. If you can cook it in the oven, if you can cook it in the hob, you can cook it in the egg. So the question was, could you cook corn as in the meat substitute on the egg? Uh, yeah, we've done, I haven't done it for a long time, but bolognese using it, uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, tofu, anything. It's, the egg is a hob, is an oven, is a, everything that's in your kitchen. So yeah, add a little bit of smoke to it, actually give it a better flavor than doing it in, inside. So yeah, pop it in a pan. 
Right. You look at that, Andy, you can see it's starting to draw some of the moisture out. Uh, hold on, I might need to... Yeah. Do we want to go in the shade? Will that mm, help you? Yeah, maybe. Oh, Below. hello. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, already see some of the moisture coming out. We're going to give that a few minutes. So. Right. So, um, that, the rice, is going to take about 10, 12 minutes, just as it would if you did it on the hob. It's just going to take that long. Once it's soaked up all those juices, then we can uh, uh, we can uh, stuff it into these squid hoods. Right, so let's go and show you what we're going to do over here. I'm going to turn this egg up a bit because we're going to use it at the end. Uh, currently sitting at 180, so I'm going to open it up. I will probably want it about 200, 220. Um, we're going to, I've got in here, this isn't Ooh, wine by the way. Gonna, I was gutted then. It's a bottle of water. Oh, uh, rubbish. Here, we've ha got some um, cedar wood planks. They've been soaking, uh, you can see we've already used them once or twice. Uh, they've been soaking in wood for about an hour. So what we're going to do is when that uh, mackerel is ready, we're going to put the strips of mackerel on here and then we're going to pop these in. This egg here, I've just got the cast iron grids in there. Uh, we'll turn it up a little bit and what the idea is is the bottom of these planks will uh, burn and smoke while the heat cooks the mackerel um, and then if we wanted for the crisp to get a crispy skin we could either blow torch it or we could put it in a pan or we can go without a crispy skin so I'm just going to turn this up open it up a bit get this one going perfect let's go and have a look at our this is keeping you on your toes Andy I'm all over this. I'm just right. So this has been on about 30, 40 minutes. So what I want to do is just flip it over. We've got them car we want to caramelise these bits of fennel. So all there is in here is fennel sliced into about four or five millimetre thick. Uh, some halved cherry tomatoes, uh, a few fennel seeds, I don't know, that's obviously sitting on something, a um, little bit of salt, I haven't put any pepper in, and that's it, and the olive oil obviously just to caramelise it, but it's a smell of this, but we're going to use that with our fish, that can be our, our dish to go with our fish. Uh, Peter from Lexq says, when are you moving to the Netherlands to go and cook for him? <laughs> Thank you, Peter. So Peter supplies all the let's queues. Um, we are quite low on stock of those at the moment. So, uh, but exciting, we've got two new products coming in. Uh, they're on order, they're in customs at the moment, as usual, everything's in customs. Our bar stools, these ones that are sitting on here are from the kitchen, but our outdoor bar stools are in customs. Our uh, let's queues are all in customs, but we are getting a let's queue rotisserie basket um, so stainless steel made basket looks really good not tried one yet we've got a whole load of those coming in stock but we're also getting their skewer system um, which you take the regulator off the top it's got a flat metal plate that's cut out especially for the skewers and also to regulate the heat a little bit um, you may have seen me on on forum say you know why hang it in from the top you can't control the heat well this has got a restricted vent so it controls the heat a bit, bit better it's got six skewers that hang down from the top so if you want to do your tandoori your tandoor style chicken on a skewer or what fish or whatever it is you can hang them in from the top and control the temperature using the bottom vent uh, and we've got a whole load of those coming and loads of interest in them oh well that segues into i asked people what they suggested oh yeah tandoori mixed grill oh tandy tandoori mixed Ooh. grill we can sort that out at Ooh, some I'm point. liking yeah. that next time that's a good idea Why do I, did i have tom i'll put them down yeah oh that sounds good so uh, peter i'd love to come i've always said we will come and visit you in the netherlands when we're allowed to travel so we will jump in the camper van one day and come and see you i'll jump in the boot <laughs> huh? You'll come in the boot. Yeah. <laughs> so Peter uh, has a great little setup um, at his house. I've seen him cooking with others. So uh, he's a he's a, a competition barbecuer. So I don't know why he wants me to cook. <laughs> right, let's have a look how our rice is doing. We didn't put a timer on, did we? No, uh, but we're. It's about. We've got about. Oh, look. Just under ten minutes, I reckon. 
I'm going to chop these tomatoes up now. Oh, they cooked a bit. It smells gorgeous. I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, you like squid, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I haven't tried this one. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not trying. She doesn't like seafood. Oh, bless you, Karen. Sorry? Belated happy birthday. Yeah, for last week, I think it was. So, uh, and you weren't supposed to be on, and then you were, and we forgot all about it. So, uh, anyway, happy birthday for last week. American champagne. Mm. How long do you reckon that's been? 20 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Give it another five. Give it another five. Okay. Right, because uh, I want to. I really want this to be good. You can see the moisture coming out of it. Now um, you see in lots of professional kitchens. I'll bring it in the shade again, yeah. Andy. You see, um, they tend to do a very quick cure. Uh, we could have added um, fennel in there. We could have added other flavours into it. I'm just going to do this quick cure. Get them on the planks. Um, so while this is re getting ready, what we'll do is dry the tops of our planks. So the side that you want to cook on, so this is the side the meat's going to go on, the fish is going to go on, we want those to be dry. So we're going to put them in for a couple of minutes up the wrong way. So open it up, I don't know why I've got it wonky in there somehow. Now set. Oh I see, oh that's all right, it doesn't matter. We'll pop those in and give them two minutes that way up and it will dry out those tops for when we put the fish on. Um, what I thought we could do with them. Oh, yeah. Some little grilled gem lettuce. Another favourite. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in my pocket. I would. <laughs> Till we head over right. that way. Get out of there. Let's have a look at this uh, fennel because we need to get it out of the way. Looking good. I think we're going to take that. So what we're going to do, because mm. I want this egg for the trout, we're going to set that egg up with two layers. So I'm going to put the, uh, the expander system in, we'll put the fennel on the bottom, and when the rice is ready then we can put, we need to roast the squid, so once they're stuffed we'll put them on the top level. So I'm going to get ready for that. Nick, yeah. Jane has asked, why do we need to dry the top of the plank? Um, it just... <coughs> You, that's a good question. I don't know. You just do. <laughs> that, I've never known you answer it no. so shoddily. Yes. Because <laughs> um, you don't want your fish to get wet. Because they don't live in the water. No. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, fish, you should never wash. You, um, there's a great bo uh, book on fish butchery. And you really shouldn't wash your fish because the water damages the flesh once it's been cut open. So, um, who knew? Yeah, who knew? I so, didn't. I can't think what that book's called. Helena hates it, um, but it's all about <coughs> fish butchery and uh, it's kind of, kind of an interesting read. I'm going to get the planks off. Oh, there you go. Need a bit more. Stops the fish from sticking. Stops the fish sticking, apparently. Who knew? I didn't, obviously. <laughs> oh. Was, did oh. you say that, or was that a fact? No, but someone else. <laughs> and, uh, no, someone else. <laughs> and Cab have just said it's Josh Milland is that book. Oh, there you go. I knew Nick would know. Um, so uh, yeah, so uh, it's actually it's uh, uh, they call it a fish butchery, and it's in Sydney. Um, but we are super fortunate that they are opening a fish butchery in Cambridge shortly on Mill Road, um, and we know one of the people involved quite well. So yeah. Exciting times. Right, I am going to take that out, ready to stuff, let it cool down a bit. Just see how, how far off this rice is. And you're gonna change your setup, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, it tastes good. Right, oh. I'm gonna take this off and put it over on the table. ready to cool down and stuff a bit before we put it back on. We are going to go for two layers now. So I'm going to put top layer, he says, trying to do it with his fat old gloves on. I can put it on here, it's heat proof. 
wheel grab a plate sitter. You guarantee it's the one that's the biggest and doesn't fit. Now, if we want this to warm up, so I'll pop that in. I need to get another layer so just behind me on the tree. Here we go. So this is to, just to, using the expander system. It would work really well if I hadn't put the plate setter in slightly wonky. On set. Planks. Huh? Yeah. Is that what you were about to say? Yeah. Just yeah. To yeah, I'll go and get the planks. Right. So that's ready now. We need that to, to heat up a little bit. So I'll open it up. Open up a bit. The cupboard doors make no difference to the airflow. It's brilliant. Right. I'm just going to close that for a trip hazard because yeah. planks. Yep. Oh, yeah, they're on fire. They're going to be dry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to take them over to the sink. They're definitely dry. And wet them again. Yeah, there's oil coming out of them. But they'll be fine. Yeah, try not to burn them as badly as me. Um, if you've got a wooden surface, don't ever put your planks down on a wooden surface. Uh, we had a lady, I think it was a lady, a big green egg. I'm going to go this way around, Andy. Oh, you're I'm mixing it up them. this way. I am going to wash them now. So, just to get the salt off, we had a lady who um, burnt a hole in her dining table by putting the burning plank on. So, oh, they have really firmed up nicely. So, I'm going to pop them on there. Now you're going to say, but you've just wet them. Put some skin side out, see how this works. Don't worry about it, Top. Okay, just put a couple skin side up. What we want them to do while they're cooking is get a little bit of smoke as well. One more. You see how they're firm now. Mm. Right, do that one that way up. Got them all on. You want to separate them a bit so that they can. Uh... There you go. Lush. Right, these are going to be ready first. So, eggs a bit warm, but hey. In they go, I'll turn it down a tiny bit so I don't want them to catch on fire. And then we'll put some grilled lettuce on with them afterwards. Right, let's stuff these squid. Uh, let's grab a one of those. Oh, morning, Mark. Show him, let's show him. Oh. <laughs> Keep her on her toes. There you go, Mark. How are we doing? Oh, Your recipe. We love it. Right. <laughs> so, we're going to take these squid, we're going to take the rice. It's really. Do oh, top tip cut the end off. It allows the rice to push down into it. Try not to get it all on your hands if it's burning hot. This is going to be epic, this one. Yeah, I'm just going to put them there for a second while I, because uh, then I'm going to put them back on top of the remaining rice. Oh, keep again, chop the ends off. The ends can go back in as well. Yep. This is the hardest bit of it all. Come on. Out. Hut. At least last time I'd had anaesthetic when I was doing this. <laughs> By that I mean Alcohol. I'd had a few glasses of wine when I was trying to stuff these in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, 
yeah, just taking the end off gives a little tube that they can slide down into, so it just makes it a little bit easier. It's exciting this, isn't it? <laughs> I'm well happy to try this one. This is going to be lush. Last one. Apparently, stuffed squid is quite popular in Croatia as well. Okay, didn't know that. Sue Stoneman just said she had Oh, Sue's on, is she? Morning, Sue. Another one to follow, Sue Stoneman. Uh, cooking with Sue, I think, is her. Is that her Instagram? It's just to Sue Stoneman. She's, she wears aprons with cooking with Sue on or something like that. Um, Sue is an amazing cook. Uh, was Southwest Cook of the Year two years on the trot I think something like that right we're gonna lay the squid back on top put one on sideways not gonna waste it it's gonna go back in don't get it on that nice shirt oh here we go right uh, before I do that I'm gonna swap that over let me just give oh, this it. a little rinse mm. thoroughly recommend it but mm. sorry those will be two or three minutes more. They'll come out of it. Right, let me just grab this. Uh, because we're multitasking, I'm going to grab Mark's dish. And I want this egg back. Oh, I love this. Oh, smell it from here. It's lush. Oh. Right, take that top off for a second, put that bottom one in, put the top back on, put our other skillet on the top. Um, when you put in something on the top layer, push it back a little bit so that the thermometer doesn't poke into it. Um, and then we'll leave this to cook now, probably another 20 minutes, something like that, 10, 15 minutes, just to cook those squid. Right. Have a look at our planks. Can you smell that, Andy? Yeah. Cedar. So nice. So you can see it's taking on a bit of colour. Oh, that feels nice. Ooh. I'm going to give those. In fact, I might take one lot off and we can try it now. Um, because that's been cured uh, and it was super fresh. Um, we can eat that, so I'm just going to pop it over here for a second. Um, again, wooden table, so put it on a trivet. What we'll do is grab our little gems. I've got a question. Yeah. From Blaze. From Blaze. Is that Matt? Yeah, Matt from Blaze. Um, is that Matt? He was here the other day. I know, sorry. Uh, <laughs> how would you do yellow thin cream? Hot and fast. Ooh. Hot and fast, basically. Yeah, right. A little bit of olive oil. Haven't got my salt and pepper out here, so I won't put it on. We're gonna take these over. So they can go skin side down, straight on the grill. Yes, I am grilling lettuce and you should all try it. It's great. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna take the other plank off because I don't want to overcook it, they're done. It should just be a light, subtle smoke. It'll give us a bit more space for those bad boys. Right, a second. right. I'm gonna put these over with the ladies so they can have a little. Now. Hey, you could do that with a little bit of horseradish. Thank you. Okay. Better let camera girl have a little bit. It's all right. Let them crack on. It's fine. Right, oh. Coming over. Coming over. Nice Bear with. Now, if you want the skin crispy, little blowtorch. Oh, is that good, Andy? Mm. Snap a bit off the end. That is lush. Mmm, salty from the cure. Yeah. Quite salty. Mm. It's nice though. 
a little bit of smoke on there, beautiful. Right, uh, we're good over there. So let's get this out of the way. And pop that over here on that plank, because it should have, yeah, it's not gonna burn my plank now. Right, let's get on with our trout. Yes, that's the time of year, mama. Flies are coming back out. So I've got two gutted fresh trout here. Um, I'm gonna stuff them with some lemon slices. Okay, uh, we're gonna get some dill. A little bit of dill to go straight into them. And I'm gonna do them in two ways. Well, what I do need to do on this egg, Andy, is just take out the okay. plate setter. So, um, what we love about other, one. Uh, other, if you learn which end to open on the doors, about the blaze, is you can just put the stuff in hot. So, I'm gonna take this out. Take my convector out. Pop it straight in there, out the way. Now, what we do need to do is clean that grill. So, showed you this tip before. Stay where you're on. Yeah. Piece of foil. That's one cleaned. Right. So on this half, I have a little foil tray. Foil tray. We are going to put in some oil for the trout to sit in. So while that's, well, let's do it so I don't tip it over when I shut the lid. Let that warm up. The second one we're going to do direct on the on the thing. Now trout tends to it's quite delicate, so um, what you don't want to do is uh, overcook it because the skin will stick a lot. I'm going to chop these in half, I think. So all we're going to do a little bit of lemon inside, a little bit of dill. Simple. That's our first one. Let me change this plate because that one's a bit juice is on. So I'm going to make them both exactly the same. So get some more lemons. Them inside. A little bit of dill. Whoop. Don't want to stay, but anyway. And then this one, I'm going to wash my hand. No, I'm not, I'm not going to bother. We're going to pick them up in a sec. We're just going to put some oil on it. So that is the one that will go onto the griddle. And hopefully, because we've oiled it, it shouldn't stick. So let's go and check them out. So this one, so turn it over, get it on. And they're going to take about five or six minutes per side. That one is just going to go straight into Ooh. the oil. Hear it crackling away. Dropped it everywhere. Those are both a direct cook at about 180, 200. Let me wash my hands. Any questions, Helena? How are we doing for time? Uh, Not we're bad. Ten past twelve. I need to check the lettuces. Oh yeah, definitely need to check the lettuce. Thank you. Whoever reminded Andy. No, I did. Oh, perfect. Mm, <laughs> cheeky git. <laughs> I thought you'd been reading the comments. <laughs> yes, because somebody has nuked them. Oh, nice. No, they're, they're good. Perfect. Now you could give these a drizzle. I'm going to take those and serve them. Right. Pine nuts maybe dropped over the top of these would be delicious. Oh yeah, that's a good shout. Right, we are done with that egg. Right. Take those there. So we've got our mackerel, we've got our 
lettuce I'm just going to drizzle them there we go let's have a look at our I'm going to get some of Mark's oh, well, wait a bit we need to get the fish so we must have some questions now because I've got a bit of a gap so <laughs> Yeah, what are you all cooking this weekend? Come on, bank holiday weekend. What are people doing? Uh, I know uh, Mike, who's probably not on, Mike Burns up in Scotland is doing his first ever beef short ribs. So he's asked lots of questions about that already this morning. Um, I saw that uh, Adam Flint had done the beef, done beef short ribs, but he'd done them with a port and wine reduction as well. So he then put them in a port and wine sauce to finish them. They look. I mean, I'm not a huge beef rib fan, beef short rib fan, but they looked epic. So, Helena? Uh, so how long is the squid cooking for? The squid is going to cook for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, it will, it's firming up already. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll take one bit out and, and, and serve it just so you can see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, a little bit longer. All the moisture in that rice inside moistens the squid, so it came out super, super succulent when we did it. It was okay. delicious. So, yeah, um, I'll go over to. Yeah, him. we'll come over. Someone has, uh, so Jason has been struggling to keep his egg at 180 degrees. Okay. Jason struggling to keep his egg at 180. What's that one sitting at? 180. Have a look at the top. So about a centimetre there. Sorry, a bit short. Yeah, and it. We call a porg for a good reason. <coughs> it stands for person of restricted growth. She's only little. And then in the bottom, he says, with it wide open, it should be about two, two fingers. fingers. Um, that's only at 180 because it's running out. But yeah, two fingers at the bottom. If you look on my website, there's a temperature chart. Um, always move both the bottom and the top in tandem. If it is too, it's too hot, close it a little bit. Close the bottom one a little bit. If it's too cold, open it up a bit um, but give it a couple of minutes three minutes to to adjust itself and then make an adjustment then if you need to change it make an adjustment then don't keep changing it all the time because you'll just be going yo-yoing it you're going hot cold hot cold but we can talk about it on the second tee um, <laughs> someone has asked how well does that table provide airflow into the bottom vent no problems with airflow at all you can't really see it but there is a tiny little gap along the top there's a gap around the egg here. Those are plenty of gaps to allow the airflow in there. Not a problem. So cook with the door shut. And the whole thing is lovely and warm. Yeah, yeah. So if you, if you want a, 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 a warming cupboard, <laughs> it's not what it's designed for. No, it just attracts the sun as well. So um, I mean, it's hot this end, even, yeah. Ladder. Yeah, Jacob's ladder, beef short ribs. Um, Jacob's ladder is where you've got the all four ribs. It's normally four uh, in a rack, um, all joined together. As soon as you cut them that up, they then become short ribs. But it's the same thing. And then the brisket normally sits on the top of that or on the bottom of that, depending on which way up your cow is. Um, if if it's feet up, you know, after you've toppled it over, then it's on the top. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, what else are we cooking? Uh, so we have got steak and ribs, we've got dirty skirt fajitas. Oh, dirty yeah, Karen skirt. true lover, I want to be fajitas. with her. Yeah, we love oh. dirty skirt fajitas. Let's have a look at these. Big Green Egg in Wales is doing Nick's favourite, crispy chilli beef Oh. and egg fried rice. How do you know that? I must have told them that. Crispy shredded beef. Um, Andrea will tell you, Mama will tell you. Oh. Um, <laughs> One of my favourites, that is. Everybody, we, when we have family Chinese, that I always want that. Nobody else likes it. No, uh, no yeah, most people don't like it. Uh, ribeye, someone else. I'll tell you what doing. I need to do. Is put a little bit pork more. shoulder. Oh, so pork shoulder. Chef Andy Knight is doing prawn oh. pill pill pasta negrata iberico followed by reverse seared 45 day aged belted Welsh black sirloin. I reckon it's everyone to dinner. It is. Yeah, we're all over to Andy's. He asked me last night why I put crisscross in my scallops. Uh, why why I'd, I'd crisscross yeah. the top of them. And my answer was, because it looks pretty. But surely you've then got more surface that will caramelize, like you yeah. break up like Oh, look at that, it didn't stick. Uh, so, um, 
Bob, can you know it? Is there in some bolognese, uh, smoked bolognese cal calzoni, and then jambalaya and lettuce for tomorrow? Oh, Steve, that sounds great. Uh, are the Cheeky Pixie is very lucky. Have I got the right couple, sister? Yes. Yeah, well done. <laughs> uh, is he a genius in stock? Uh, is he a genius in stock? Yes, he is. As far as I'm aware. Um, so yeah, just drop me a note. I can send you a quote. And yeah. Uh, someone else is doing tomahawk steaks with jerk chicken breasts. Uh, oh, that sounds good. Jason is doing Nando's chicken and rice. That's a family. We like oh, Nando's chicken and rice. Yes. Yeah. Right, they are nearly done. Awesome. So we're going to go and grab um, some. If I bring the board, it's probably easier. Surf straight onto the board, and then we'll put the fish on the top. So we're going to get some of Mark, Mark's beautiful. Fish. Oh, that's looking good too. So push that back and clip it. Is that going to stay? Yeah. It smells gorgeous. We love this. Well, Helen and I do. Andy doesn't. She doesn't like fennel. No, I'll try. I, I, I will try it clearly. <laughs> doing this house yeah it's amazing how many things andrea doesn't like but she now <laughs> likes um she you all know no she, you make out i'm really fussy i'm not i'm not really <laughs> fussy but i don't i just don't i don't like aniseed i do do not like aniseed she doesn't like nuts apart from pistachios we found out with with prosecco yeah it's the only way to have pistachios but whilst when she moved in with us there's a lot of things she lo now likes <laughs> <laughs> One of them's going to be this lovely Anna CD. Yeah, I was never a big fan of duck and right. I'm quite partial to duck what now. What I'm going to do is grab one of these. Well, I don't know if they're done. Right, grab one of those and grab a spoon. Get a bit of, pull this back. Just so that we've got some to show you. And then I'll put it back in because I think that needs a tiny bit more, but you can see what we've got. <coughs> right, let's leave that cooking. We'll go and grab one of our fish. Oh, that looks amazing. Is it good? Saying all the right things, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> now, what we're looking for with our fish, I'm going to grab a fork, is just that it's turned opaque inside. And it has. It's no, you know, it's not, it's not raw. So let's see if we can get it off. Would you not firm a pennant? Or you could. You could firm a pennant. I'm not going to bother. Okay. I'll leave the other one on for a second. Yeah. Slightly fatter, but that has worked as well. That's skin on that's crisped up beautifully. Just in a bit of oil. Oh yeah. So I'm going to leave that one on there. Two different ways of doing it. Right. Is that it? It's only a little bit a, over. A perfect from uh, Mark. You know, throughout the fennel. There you go. So we have. What end do we start? We'll start at this end. Yeah. We've got fennel with uh, on a bed of tomatoes. And no, that would be trout on trout. a bed. Trout. Of... I was going to say fennel on a bed. <laughs> trout on a bed of fennel and tomatoes. Uh, we've got some uh, just gem, griddled gem lettuce. We've got our stuffed squid with chorizo. So it's stuffed with chorizo and onions and garlic. Uh, needs a bit of, I haven't put the parsley through it. Should have a bit of parsley. And then we've got our uh, cured, hot smoked, hot plank smoked mackerel. Lovely. Mm -hmm. That isn't a bad cook. That's really I'd say that's that looks, gone really well. That looks now, epic. I know I'm about three weeks behind writing up the recipes, but it is a bank holiday weekend, so as long as you promise not to ring me and order anything, <laughs> um, I will write the recipes up. But if you do want to order something, I am more than happy to be distracted from writing up recipes. Um, so usual number. Um, but yeah, we've been very fortunate. Lots of you are buying stuff at the moment. Uh, if you like the stove um, that we talked to Nicola at Morley Stoves, mention my name, that we that you saw it on here, that'd be great. So we've got three suggestions for next week. Okay, suggestions for next week are? Uh, Caribbean. Okay, some jerk chicken, uh, some, uh, oh, some little pasties, um, Jamaican pasties with a bit of lamb in. Okay. Oh, well, actually, someone asked for lamb, kind of Mongolian lamb shank. 
Okay. That's not very. Okay. That's not very um Caribbean. No, no, no. no this is different tea. <laughs> yeah. And then tandoori mixed grill. Oh yes, I do like the idea of the tandoori mixed grill. I'm just creating space because I'm going to put the other salmon on uh, the salmon trout on there. Nice. I'm just going to check it's done. But good suggestions for next week. Oh, I like it. Oh yeah. That's looking delish. That's coming off. Oh, I've left the skin behind. Don't film that, Andy. Nobody will know. I didn't no. tell anyone. No, didn't see it. <laughs> so my suggestion, uh, cook it on the grid. Works better than a bit of foil, which is supposed to stop it sticking. Right. I love it. That looks great. Yeah. It does look amazing. There you go. So Good we'll job. get the rest of the squid off. We'll have that for our lunch along with this. And we'll see you next week. So have a great bank holiday weekend. Um, enjoy cooking on your eggs. Tag us in your photos. We want to see what you're cooking. And we will see you next Saturday, 11.30. Cheers, guys.